Well, third time's the charm, right? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you another haul because why not? I didn't post because I didn't film anything, needless to say. Did end up going to Ulta and TJ Maxx yesterday with my mom. Today I got a couple things for the Target Circle Week sale thing, some skims and a new bag. So if you guys want to see that, then just keep watching. Let's just get right into this, shall we? And I also, hold on one moment, hold on one second. My lips have been chronically, chronically dry for like a week. <laughs> originally wanted to go because I had to return some stuff. I That's my new habit. <laughs> if you've seen my last vlog, I briefly talked about how my new thing is buying things and returning them, which is good because I'm getting my money back and I'm not wasting and consuming and compiling a whole bunch of stuff. It's also kind of annoying when my impulses sometimes have still crept back in, if you know what I mean. Self-control, but also sometimes there's some impulse. As a benefit, we got this. Restocking on my Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Whip I don't know what I was gonna say, but it was not what was on this container. Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. This is like my third of this, I think. It's a dupe for Sol de Janeiro. I love the Boom Boom Cream and I love spray and everything that comes with it. But sometimes, obviously, you don't wanna spend all that. So this is a very good dupe. I really like this stuff. They were out. I did grab the Sparkling Gel Wash. Oh my gosh, I have so many of these. I need to stop. I need to stop. My guilty pleasure is body wash. So I have a lot of them. Can we just look at the Hero Cosmetics Sunscreen? But this one is tinted. It's SPF 30. I use this every day. It is really, really good. Especially if you like... <laughs> Okay, if you have like acne prone skin, this is really great for that. I just hope it gives me a really nice, flowy, dewy look, especially in the summertime for work and everything. Because sometimes some sunscreens give you like a white cast and you just look like dead and you just don't want to do that. Next, <laughs> I got a, another Touchlin. I cannot talk today. This is my third time trying to film this. Patience, please. I don't even know. I did get another sanitizer, the Touchland ones, because yes, they're overpriced, but they're super cute, and I love using these in my purse. Very Bliss. Mainly got it because of the color. I'm not even gonna lie. Hopefully it smells really good. And if not, I'm gonna return anyway. I don't care. Kiss No Glue Lash Extensions. We will see how well these go. I hope they work out for me and don't make me feel like my eyes are glued shut constantly. I don't know how girls can just constantly wear these for a few days because even in the shower they were coming off for me. At least the false scare ones. So let me know down below if you have any tricks or anything. I might just end up wearing these for like a day and then take them off and then reapply and whatever because I ain't got time. If you know a secret trick to keep them on in the shower when you sleep without them coming off for like a week, let me know. I'm curious. Real Techniques Miracle Air Blend Sponge. I've bought these in the past. I love them. I think these have become right now my favorite beauty blenders because you don't have to wet them. When you use them, it's supposed to give you a natural matte finish and an oily girl loves a matte finish. I'm not gonna lie. I love a glow, not oily glow. I love a matte the same time. Okay, what else is in here? Don't know. Another oh, throwback. I feel like I was in like 2016 or something mode when I bought a lot of this. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula in the shade bronzer. They have a whole bunch of shades now. This is the OG, so I just I got another one. I miss the old packaging though. The purple and the green and the yellow. Oh my gosh, I was not say blue. One of my favorites because I just don't have like a pressed bronzer anymore. I've thrown out all my expired ones. I've, I have like no makeup now basically. I'm trying to only have my collection of things I really love because I'm so sick of buying stuff and it ends up being crappy and that's it. Hence also the new returning phrase that I have going on in my brain. I got another lash glue because my mindset was I'm going to return the duo one I bought at Target in the vlog you guys saw and keep this one but I ended up using it so we have two of them now which is fine. That's it's fine in case one just dries out on me. If you saw the get ready with me on TikTok, you know you know. Now that I'm looking at these, I don't know why I bought these. I really don't. Like I do, but I don't. It's a complicated thing because I wanted the other set that they just came out with, but I just went to these. But it's fine. We'll still use them anyway. I don't care. Real Techniques Disposable Dual Ended Spoolies. Love these if you're a lash tech, but I'm sure you could find them cheaper elsewhere. I don't know. If you just need these all the time, if you have lash extension, exte what, what? Extensions, 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 or brows, of course. Obviously, you guys know I fluff mine now. I'm not about that brow, dip brow, pomade life. I keep getting those pictures on my time hop all the time, guys. Don't you worry. That was a time. That was a time we will never go back. Last gold, gold. 
good molecules, yerba mate, yerba mate, however you want to say that. Wake up eye gel. I really love this stuff. I've been using it for months now. It is really great for under my eyes. It's nice and cooling. So I just got another one and I love this brand. Shout out to Good Molecules because they did send me a PR package like months ago and I really love this and the Super Peptide Serum. I'm using that right now too just for pre 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 preventative mention. I'm using that right now for preventative measures, you know, because I'm 30. Really love this stuff. And everything's affordable. Good skincare that's affordable. We are here for it. Last thing I got is another Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is one of my favorites. It is high end. I'm not going to lie, the dry shampoo recall has recently really scared me. So we are not using Batiste anymore. Thankfully, I only had one bottle left that's going to go to donation or I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet. I did get a full size and this is really expensive. So hopefully I won't have to buy this constantly for a long time and I can just... I feel like I use more dry shampoo when my roots start to come out because my natural hair tends to get greasy really fast and when my hair is done... It doesn't. It's more dry. My tiny TJ Maxx bag compared to the big one in my last haul. <laughs> tiny. I went in there because my mom wanted to peruse, obviously, but I found some gems. So I'm very happy. This isn't giving 2016. I don't know what is. This is an Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped, which is, I feel like this is very close to the old one that I had years ago, but it has bronze, summer tourmaline, and moonstone in there. Ugh. Ugh. This Ah, oh my god, I just I can't I am super super excited. This was only $20 and Definitely a steal because these used to go for like about 50 back in the day at the checkout I grabbed two of these if you've been here or if you're new here I love Kula sunscreen. However, I don't like to spend $30 for it at Ulta So I find ones at TJ Maxx and I buy them. These were $14.99 each. They're organic They're all made with good ingredients whole bunch of stuff SPF 50 love these for the summertime So I had to stock up now. This has a little backstory to it and these were like randomly on an end cap And I was so excited if you've seen online TikTok, probably more than likely forever 21 came out with another collab with juicy couture and I love all the juicy couture stuff like this with the juicy with the rhinestones I love that however when it's really expensive there's no way I did go online and everything was sold out and I am not there's there was just no way that I'm gonna go drive over to the mall and go and just to look there's just no way this was random but I feel like the universe was like you are meant to have some more juicy rhinestone stuff you are just meant to because I found two sleep sets but I'm still gonna wear them out or at least wear the shirts out because I don't care rhinestone juicy couture so cute. Absolutely love. The set was $12.99. This is like a velour like t-shirt one and it came with shorts that also say juicy on the butt which I'm here for. And then this one is like a ribbed little tank top. This is juicy on it and this set was also $12.99 and it just has juicy couture emblem on the front there. Super super cute. I'm so happy. It was like you know what you can't get that but I'm gonna give you this. So I'm so happy. I just love the rhinestone stuff. I really do. It just gives 2000s Y2K vibes, which everyone's into now, apparently. So thanks for selling everything out, guys. Thank you so much. I think that's definitely the most frustrating thing about TikTok and just about like social media in general. Even when YouTube, back in the day when the beauty community, I just have to say, because if you really want to go try a product, there's just no way that's going to happen. Especially if there was like a big beauty YouTuber back in the day that was like reviewing it, like whoever, like... Jacqueline or Jeffrey or whoever you know the product's gonna be gone and you are out of luck like uh-uh and now it's like the same with everything like Stanley Cups and Juicy Couture and random beauty products in general and it's just like okay great thank you so much thanks or even now Rare Beauty which I mean we support the Rare Beauty though we support Selena. So the couple things I got from Target today part of the circle sale and of course everything for the most part has been wiped out because it's circle week yay I got another covergirl clean fresh yummy gloss in Glamingo pink which is this really pretty corally color this was literally the last one on the shelf the last one so it was going to be mine I really like the formula of these glosses they smell really good they're very hydrating they're vegan cruelty free all that good no one cares. Um, I'm not a beauty YouTuber anymore. <laughs> Nobody cares. I really do like these glosses and I think this is going to be a perfect color for me for summertime. I also found these Kiss Little Short Nails, which I think is just perfect for work in the summertime, for summer 
Wow, my light is really making that blinding. I am so sorry, but that's what they look like. Up close, super, super pretty. This was random, but I also was like, why not? Why not? I never have had a cover-up as far as being an adult as a kid i always wore cover-ups so i found this little strong shrine i don't know how you say that don't don't come for me but this little pink one see-through very pretty just to like wear around me because sometimes like you know you don't want to be showing off all your goods and stuff and this was also 20 percent off so why not speaking of summer <laughs> Kim K, Kimberly Noel. I know that the Kardashians are on their way out. They're not going to that Met Gala next year. Don't you worry, girl, if you've not seen the TikToks. Kim came out with her swim line again, which I really, really wanted some of this because I love Skims. In general, I love the brand. I don't care. You like what you like. That's what I like. And that's it. It's fine. I love Skims and I prefer to spend my money on Skims because for the most part, the quality is there for me. I prefer it. A swimsuit it is basic AF as a warning. It is basic. I did not get the neon green. I did not get the blue. I got the black and it literally looks like one of my older <laughs> Fashion Nova bikinis I used to have. Oh, I'm super excited. So I ended up getting the bandeau top and it comes with a strap so you could wear it around your neck if you want and it's got like the silicone band so it won't fall off you which i am so excited about because that is the one thing i hate about wearing bandeau bikini tops because they're always constantly falling down since obviously i'm endowed so it's just been an issue hi so i don't remember where i left off i think i'll show you guys the bottoms from skims <laughs> This is what they look like. They're kind of cheeky, so hence the cover-up. Very cute. Very excited to wear that. And I had two. Was it unnecessary? Yeah, but I've really been into hair clips now that my hair is short. I got the little Skims clip. <laughs> Me and my extra got this little Skims clip, which I'm super excited for this summer. I'm not losing this. I don't care. I'm not losing it. This is going to be with me. Finally, I just wanted to share with you guys my new tote bag from Amazon. Yes, I'm... If you've been here, then you know, but if you're new here, hi, I'm Sam. I like fake designer items. I don't care. That's what I prefer, and I'm always down for a good dupe. In my defense, did I feel like spending $200 on the candy pink one? No. Was this $31? Yeah. So, uh, Pick your poison. Pick your poison, if you will. No judgments if you do, but that's just me. This is the small size tote, I believe. It's super, super cute. Very pink. Perfect for spring. She's everything, so I am very happy to have her. That is everything that I got in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More content is coming. I know. I am planning on doing a closet tour because that's kind of been like my little project I've been working on for the last few months now. Trying to reorganize everything, move things, get rid of things you know, the whole nine yards. So uh, that will be coming soon and more vlogs and whatever else you guys want to see. Let me know down in the comments, but I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notification when the f I post a new video. And I don't know. I'm just really tired. <laughs> I love you guys.